Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Pin Rescue, and yes, it's another pull the pin style game where we have this obstacle of a giant pin in the way of this guy who's walking back and forth and smashing his face into stuff, and this cat that's walking back and forth smashing its face into stuff. We have to rescue our cat, so let's go ahead and see if we can solve all of these puzzles. So we ha just have to click the pin and it moves away. And there we go, we're reunited with our cat. Now I don't know how many levels there are in this game, but we're gonna try to get through as many of them as we can. Now we're on a raised platform this time, so just get rid of that pin. And it looks like it's done blocking both of us and we are reunited once more with our fuzzy friend. So cute, I like that. Okay, so in this one, we wanna remove the pin and remove that pin. And they go off the screen, never to bother us again t until the next level. I just want to know how this guy and this cat got into this predicament with these giant pins. All right. Oh, okay. So now, besides the pins being in the way, we have spikes. But more concerningly, we have this zombie in the middle of the level who I just dropped onto the spikes. Okay, I was afraid that what was going to happen was... When I dropped the zombie on the spikes, it was going to kill him, but the spikes were going to remain. Looks like that's not the case. We actually get to get past the spikes, and we get to see our kitty. Oh, wait, what? I just got killed immediately. When I, Good thing I can just respawn really quick and replay, and I don't know what just happened. A giant arrow fell, and there was a lot of blood, and that zombie exploded. But it looks like anytime the zombie gets killed, the obstacle that's in the way gets removed. So that's something good to know. Something very good to know. Drop ourselves into the pit with the cat. And now we have a zombie again in the way. Now I don't really know what to do here. Oh, there's another little arrow in between the two top pins. So if we let the zombie go that way, will this activate and kill him? Oh my god, yes it does. And it's like a Mortal Kombat death. That was so much blood. He just splurted everywhere. All right, level six done though. We're with our friend again. Uh oh, uh, oh my god. All right, that was close. So we have to be quick. Wait, what? The spikes didn't kill him. Wait, the spikes didn't kill the guy! Or, wait, can we walk through these? What just happened there? The zombie killed me. I'm dead. So we have to be fast right off the bat with this guy. Uh-oh. Oh, man, we weren't fast enough. All right, there we go. And then, maybe it's the timing. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. So you can walk through the spikes horizontally, but if something falls on top of them, then they die. So that's something I have to keep in mind. I can't believe how fast I had to be to get that guy. <laughs> there we go. Now it's easier, we just drop the zombie on the spikes. Same sort of deal here. He's dead, he's gone, and we get to just stroll without a care in the world <laughs> in our empty head here and just grab our cat. What the heck? Wait, there was an arrow that, that was like killing the zombie before like the game spawned in or the level spawned in. Now it's not activating, what the heck? But by doing that, it didn't kill him. Wait, all right, well. Will the zombie kill the cat? No, the zombie won't kill the cat. Okay, well, we, we can bypass this completely then because we can just grab our cat. We don't have to worry about killing the zombie. Okay, and now the arrow killed me right away again. <laughs> I don't know how it keeps doing that, but there we go. That time it activated correctly. Sometimes they just spawn in a little bit glitchy, a little bit wonky. You just have to re hit the restart button, which is easy and quick. Honestly, it's not too big of an issue. Then we go down here, and then I think we want to pull this big pin. And the zombie, fortunately, will walk right over us and we'll be able to grab our kitty. And here, I'm not going to get psyched out there. Let's grab our cat. This one, same deal. Those zombies can hang out together there. I don't care. We're not bringing that wall that separated us apart. Oh, oh, there's, there's arrows on the side. So this is another one we have to be quick about. All right, this time again, zombies going over our head. And the timing's just right so that we don't get killed by that spike trap or arrows or whatever I, I can't remember or killed by the zombie that's what i meant there's too many traps and i keep getting very much confused when i see them on the screen i just realized we're also on level 16 which is like really really very fast through these levels i'm doing pretty well here can the cat get hit by the arrow i hope not cat be careful be safe okay cat's a little bit ahead of the zombie can we grab the cat before the zombie gets us we can all right i don't know what happens in the uh you know the after credit scene there I, I have a feeling the zombie can still grab us, or maybe we just 
grab the cat and we sprint away as quickly as we can. But we survived the level. That's all that matters. We didn't survive that one. So this is another one. Right off the bat, we have to be quick. Nice and easy, fortunately. Okay. Getting killed by things when I spawn in over and over again. That's A-OK -okay by me, though. All right. Send the zombie to his doom. We get hit by the big arrow, please. Uh, the arrow did not activate. Oh, no. Okay. Well... That's all right. We don't have to worry about it too much because I think if we get the timing just right here, we can just drop down. Yep. Right onto our kitty. All right. And that was that. Okay. I did not actually see what level that was. I think that was level 18 maybe, but now we're back to level one. So actually a very quick pull the pin style game here with pin rescue. I enjoyed this a lot. I love the fact that we're trying to rescue our cat or I guess our cat's trying to rescue us because the level ends and the nightmares end when the cat gets to us versus us actually rescuing the cat who seems impervious to all the dangers around us still a really cute game very casual but still challenges you a little bit with getting around the obstacles with some of the quicker timing elements etc very fun game definitely worth the try but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me avoid zombies spike traps and arrow traps if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye